So about five contracts a day, day in and day out. Uh, let's make sure everybody understands what we mean when we say wholesaling. Different people have different definitions of wholesaling. So what's your definition of wholesaling? How does that work? Yeah. Wholesaling is, you know, you're, you're going and you're contracting a property or wholesaling. You could literally wholesale any item, but we'll just use real estate for the example. So you negotiate with a motivated seller to get a property under contract for a certain amount that you can turn around and give it to an investor for a higher amount. So easy numbers, you got a hundred thousand dollar property. It's worth a hundred grand. You get the seller to agree to let you have that property and put it under contract for 65,000. And then you turn around and you find it a fix and flipper or an investor that wants to buy that property and they'll buy it for 75 grand. Well, when you get a contract with both parties and turn them into the title company, the title company will give you a $10,000 check or however much the difference is. Right. So would you say wholesaling in your company is sort of synonymous with assigning or collecting assignment fees? Correct. Yeah. So we collect a lot of assignment fees, but um, we do, we're not just a one trick pony either. We, we do subject to deals. We, uh, we actually hold, I hold a lot of rentals uh, in my portfolio as well. Uh, we do novations. So we're, always looking for different exit strategies to monetize more deals. Right. Explain to everybody what a novation is. What's a novation deal? Yeah. So a novation deal is basically if you have a, a seller that wants, uh, you know, close to retail, their house is in pretty good shape, right? You can go ahead and contract that property. Say they want the house. We'll use the hundred thousand dollar example. Again, you got a house that's a hundred and the seller doesn't want to take a dime less than 90. Well, you put that property under contract with a novation agreement at 90,000 and that novation agreement will allow you to actually list that property full retail. Sometimes there's minor repairs that you do as part of the novation agreement. You may go in and do some carpet or paint or landscaping, but you're not doing any heavy, uh, you know, remodels. These are properties that are in you know, fairly good condition and you can, you know, put them and list them and get full retail from a conventional buyer at the end.